you couldn't resist, Joe. So we have new data from GoodRx exclusively provided to us uh, this morning. Looking back at the trends through the pandemic of which drugs are being used the most and what the trends look like. And overall, you can actually start to get a picture of when people started to get comfortable going back to the doctor's office for routine visits. There's this category called low refill drugs. Those are drugs, prescriptions where you have to go back to the doctor in order for them to write you a refill. And you can see they plunged in 2020, started to recover toward the end, and then in 2021 really started to come back in February as vaccines started rolling out more broadly. We talked with Tori Marsh, GoodRx's director of research, about what she's seeing in that trend. The fact that we're seeing uh, these low refill drugs return to normal really means that people are continuing to interact with their with their providers and they feel more comfortable now than they did during the pandemic to go in person, get these labs and tests done and get that new prescription. OK, now into the specific categories, Joe. Beauty and lifestyle drugs are getting a really, really big boost as people are starting to emerge from their homes and go back out into the world, specifically eyelash growth drugs. There are prescription drugs for this. Uh, specifically, the brand name is called Latisse. There are also generics available here. In the prescription fill rate, you just see this massive bump. Uh, in the spring of 2021, the number is still really high. We talked to an esthetician about this, and she said one reason is that people are wearing masks, so all you can see is their eyes, and they want to enhance their eyelashes. Uh, you're also seeing bumps in acne medicines and weight loss drugs as people are kind of coming out of, um, of their homes and interacting with society more. Uh, on a less upbeat note, um, there is also an increase in use of antidepressants. You're seeing about an 8% bump in sertraline or Zoloft prescriptions in 2021. We talked with the president of the American Psychiatric Association about that. No surprise there. We know the mental health toll the pandemic has taken. And she said in particular, the financial stresses of the pandemic really contributing to that trend. Guys. I can't believe that 